friends myself dr rakesh tripathi and we are going to learn square root of a complex number very easy method we have for this square root let's start with an example if for example we are asked to find square root of 3 plus 4i it is a complex number which is because it is a combination of real and imaginary number therefore because it is a complex number therefore its square root will be a complex number so let's say its square root is a plus ib directly we cannot separate square root square root of 3 plus square root of 5 4 therefore to find values of a and b we will have to square both the sides so on squaring both sides it becomes 3 plus 4i on left side and uh, on right side a plus ib whole square okay so this implies 3 plus 4i will remain as it is and squaring of this square of this a square plus i square b square i square b square plus twice a b i clear is equal to a square and i square we know is minus 1 therefore it is a square minus b square plus 2 a b i because a i square is minus 1 3 plus 4 i now we are interested in finding a and b therefore we shall have to compare real and imaginary parts of both the sides this is real because it is independent of i on left side and this is real on right side so these two can be equated and similarly this is what imaginary part on left and this is imaginary on right therefore these two can be equated so it implies a square minus b square real part of right side is equal to real part of left side and let this be number 2 and imaginary part on right 2ab imaginary part on left 4 let this be number 3 now there is a method to find a and b put value of a from 3 in equation 2 or there is an alternate method you can use this formula a square plus b square is equal to root over a square minus b square whole square plus 2ab whole square clear and if we substitute values of a square minus b square from 2 which is 3 3 square plus from 3 value of 2ab is 4 4 square 3 square plus 4 square 9 plus 16 25 and square root of 25 is 5 so a square plus b square is 5 plus minus should not be considered only plus will be considered because a square plus b square sum of squares of two positive two real numbers cannot be negative therefore only positive value will be considered and let this be number Four, equation four. On and uh, now to find a and b, we can add two and four, and we can subtract two from four. So let us see how it is possible. 
using this operation 4 plus 2 if we add 4 and 2 this implies a square plus b square is 5 a square minus b square is 3 add both of them a square a square will be 2a square b square b square cancelled 5 plus 3 8 which implies a square is equal to 4 and therefore a is equal to plus minus 2 a is equal to plus minus 2 answer of a is plus minus 2 now to find b we can put this value of a in any of these equation either in 4 or in 2 or in 3 or we can apply an operation subtracting equation 2 from equation 4 a square plus b square is equal to 5 a square minus b square is equal to 3 subtract this equation this implies a square a square cancelled minus minus plus b square plus b square 2b square and pi minus 3 will be 2 which implies b square is equal to 1 and therefore b is equal to plus minus 1 b is equal to plus minus 1 now on substituting these values of a and b in in equation 1 on putting values of a and b in equation 1 we find square root of 3 plus 4i on left side which will remain as it is on right side value of a plus minus 2 plus i times plus minus 1 we can put bracket over here plus minus can be taken common it is 2 plus i if you wish to verify that your answer is correct or not you can square both the sides on squaring if you square this 3 plus 4i square of plus minus plus square of 2 4 square of i square minus 1 plus 2ab 2 into 2 4 into i see this is 3 same as this this is 4 this is 4 both the sides are equal therefore your answer of this square root of 3 plus 4i is plus minus 2 plus i you can see here if there is a negative sign in between 3 plus 4i then answer must be your your answer must be 2 minus i means if your complex number is having negative imaginary part then square root must be having negative imaginary number see here because when we shall verify it a square plus b square will calculate real part and imaginary part will if imaginary part is positive then your answer will be positive if imaginary part is negative then there, then your answer will be negative so keep this thing in mind if your question is like this if your question is suppose you are asked to find square root of 15 minus 8i then you need to take square root of this number as a minus ib 
and same procedure is to be followed the square root of 15 minus squaring both sides you will have 15 minus 8 i on left and right side should have a minus i b squaring both sides will be like this very simple procedure Fifteen minus eight i. Comparing real and imaginary part. Real part is fifteen. Imaginary part is eight minus eight. But both are having negative sign. Therefore, negative negative should not be considered. Only coefficient of i which is minus 2ab and coefficient of i minus 8 if should be equated and minus minus will be cancelled therefore no need to take negative sign and formula will remain as it is and if we substitute values let us see 15 square plus 8 square now you need to calculate 15 square 15 square you know 225 8 square 64 on adding both it is 289 and square root of 289 is 17 therefore a square plus b square is 17 same operation add 4 and 2 17 plus 15 32 2 will cancel this 32 quotient will be 16 taking square root of both sides a will be plus minus 4 Similarly, subtract 2 from 4 as we did in last example 17 minus 15 17 minus 15 is 2 2 2 cancel b square is 1 b is equal to plus minus 1 same procedure we shall use and very simple procedure you can see here substitute values of a and b in equation 1 so equation 1 is square root of 15 minus 8i is equal to plus minus bracket value of a value of a is 4 plus minus we have already taken common so no need to write plus minus again minus i times value of b so it is 1i now we can verify it to verify squaring both sides 15 minus 8i is equal to squaring of this plus 4 square 16 i square is minus 1 minus 2ab so minus 2 into 4 into 1 minus 8i see 15 minus 8i therefore therefore be careful if it is if it is a negative sign then you need to consider its square root as a minus ib but suppose if you are asked to find a square root of minus 8 minus 6i then you need to be very careful if it is negative or positive it will remain a only plus a but if imaginary part is negative then only you will have to consider minus ib if whether it is positive or 
negative whether it is positive or negative it will remain a but if it is positive here positive sign will come if it is negative negative sign will come and the same procedure should be followed try to find answer of this and verify your answer by squaring both the sides in case if you face any problem please let me know do share this video with your friends and please like and subscribe my channel i am writing few more questions which you can solve at home A square root of 1 plus i A square root of 1 plus i your answer will be plus minus A square root of root 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus square root of root 2 minus 1 upon 2 i A square root of only i suppose if you are asked to find the square root of i you need to write it as 0 plus 1 i 0 plus 1 i and your answer will be plus minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 i do solve these questions at your home and verify them and then let me know what did you find in this lecture wish you all the best